With tomorrow being election day, that means it's just one day left for candidates to try and win over voters. Both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump doing all they can to secure votes. WNY's Kara Demers spoke with our political analyst today about what's happening during this last push to the presidency. She joins us now in studio tonight. Kara. Renata, with just over 24 hours until the final votes start rolling in, both presidential candidates are in the midst of a last-minute campaign dash. I spoke with WENY's political analyst Dr. Jim Twombly about what exactly this last day of campaigning means for both Trump and Clinton and what each may need to do to win the presidency. I'm guessing that Hillary Clinton's electoral college vote would be somewhere in the 300 to 320 vote range. Mm -hmm. That's not to say that uh, Donald Trump can't win. He has a path to victory but it includes uh, winning Ohio, winning Michigan, winning Florida, winning North Carolina, and many of the other states that are sort of on the cusp uh, between the two candidates right now. Those key states will each play a huge role in tomorrow night's election. If Clinton wins Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and especially Florida, it will most likely be an early night for those staying up for the results. Both candidates are still looking to wrap up appearances in Ohio and Michigan, where those last-minute votes may help either clinch the election, despite experts' prediction that Clinton may win. Anything can happen. Polls could be off. Um, but there seems to be an overwhelming amount of evidence that it looks like Clinton will win. For Trump, a victory would entail winning all of those key states still out there, as well as flipping one that is now predicted to go to Clinton. However, Dr. Twombly reminds us that much like the 2000 election, as well as this year's primary, polls have certainly been wrong in the past. I think that's where we're headed for tomorrow night, is this one's going to be close. Um, I would like to be wrong and we can all go home early and sleep, <laughs> but um, I think it's going to be close. At least state by state, it's going to be close. Yeah. WENY's election coverage will begin tomorrow morning with Good Morning Twin Tears. Be sure to stick with us throughout the day as we bring you the latest coverage of all the candidates, as well as the election results later on. For now, reporting in the studio, Kara Demers, WENY News. Thank you, Kara. And with it being the last full day of campaigning for the presidential candidate,